For generations, New Yorkers have depended on the Long Island Railroad to get to and from Manhattan and around the island. When it opened in 1834, there were just 37,000 people living on Long Island. Today, that number is almost 3 million and growing. But the basic infrastructure has remained the same. That's why Governor Andrew Cuomo's plan to expand the capacity of the railroad's busiest corridor, the main line, is critical because it'll modernize Long Island's infrastructure. This plan is completely different from past proposals to add a third track to the main line, which would have had extensive community impacts, including taking people's homes. This completely new project is being built within the existing railroad right-of-way and has been designed with your needs first, without a single home taken, and with added benefits like station upgrades, additional parking, and the elimination of street-level crossings that generate traffic jams and noise in local communities. In addition, the governor's project would use rapid construction techniques carried out by expert construction firms with incentives to finish the project on an expedited timeline. This new plan is a win for both commuters and local communities. For commuters, it'll help reduce delays and increase reliability. It'll increase service options too. And for our neighbors along the tracks, the project will improve local safety and quality of life. So how is it that everyone who uses the Long Island Railroad benefits from a third track on the main line? Let's take a look. Today, having just two tracks means trains can run in only one direction between Hicksville and Floral Park during rush hour. But more tracks will mean more trains for you. The third track allows trains to run in both directions during rush hour, so you can get to the island in the morning and into the city at night. The 10-mile corridor between Hicksville and Floral Park is also a busy bottleneck that connects several branches of the railroad. With only two tracks along that stretch, a problem on one track results in delays and has the potential to make tens, even hundreds of thousands of people throughout the system late to their destinations, no matter what branch they use. That's because many trains that start on one branch and go through the main line to Penn Station are supposed to immediately turn around to provide service on other branches. But with limited capacity, delays on the main line just ripple throughout the system. The third track doubles the railroad's main line capacity during a track outage, significantly reducing delays after an incident or during scheduled maintenance. Now what about our neighbors living in the project corridor? Even if you don't take the train, this project still benefits you. More people taking trains means less traffic congestion on our highways. And on our local roads, fixing all of the street-level train crossings in the project area will end traffic backups that force drivers, including first responders, to lose precious time stuck in traffic. Fixing these crossings will also make it safer for people driving or walking in the surrounding neighborhoods. This project makes living near the main line quieter by eliminating the bells and train horns that are required at the crossings and by adding sound barrier walls to block noise from trains. We're going to do it right, and we're going to be proud that we did it. Right now, we're taking your suggestions on ways to minimize any impacts of construction. We'll also continue to meet with neighbors and customers, because no one knows the Long Island Railroad better than the people who use it every day and the people who live next door to it. There are lots of ways to stay in touch. Visit our walk-in office at Mineola Station. Follow us on Twitter at A Modern LI, or visit us on the web at amodernli.com, where you can sign up for email updates. It will remind us of the ambition and the daring and the energy that made us Long Island and made us New York in the first place.